This is an interesting little thing. It's a fairly common hand wash water heater as used in construction sites or workshops where you've got a cold water supply but no convenient hot water system so you can literally just put this in the wall above the sink, run a cable into it and uh, then it give, and the cold water and it gives you hot water. So you've got the cold water inlet here, you've got the outlet here that would normally be, be to a little swivel tap and you've got a pressure release thing in case something gets blocked up it can vent the water out down into the sink. But inside, uh, well, for a start, to turn this on when it's in use, you basically turn this and you, it takes a while to get up to temperature, but once it's at up to temperature, you can set whether it's going to be super duper hot or fairly cold, uh, very cold as it usually turns out these. But if we take the cover off, the inside, and I'll zoom down this a little bit, the inside is very reminiscent of a... Uh, electric shower in the UK. In fact, it's made by the same type of company. We've got the heater block here. We've got the tap here that diverts the water coming in across into the uh, the heater block here and then it comes out through the uh, to the tap. But it also has that little safety pressure valve, which if it works the same way the other ones do, it's basically a little silicon ball just pushed up so that if the output of this gets blocked, instead of overpressurizing this, it will actually blow that ball out. And it's basically to stop people trying to put taps in the output because this is not designed to operate at full means water pressure um, in the sense that if you had a tap in the output, it would pressurise the system up to that uh, full level also, potentially um, cause the switch, the pressure switch, to just basically close all the time, which wouldn't be ideal because it would boil the water inside. Uh, so the water comes in and goes through this regulator valve, which just basically is a tap, effectively. And as well as diverting water in here, it diverts it up to this switch. And you've got the live come in here. The live goes through this uh, over-temperature cutout switch, and then it goes over to that micro switch, and then it comes back to the heat element. The neutral goes straight to the heat, heat element. And ultimately, that's it. In here is a coiled heater, uh, fully enclosed uh, in copper, and everything's well-grounded here. And... Uh, because we have a 240 volt supply in the UK and it's easy to run 3 kilowatts from a plug, that's how this works. You basically, you just either put it in a spur with a cable coming in the back or a cable entrance down here with a cable grip. Or you can just literally plug it in at a socket and that gives you the, the luxury of warm water. I wouldn't say hot water unless you had it turned down to a very low trickle. But uh, when you're on a cold instruction site, it's nice than just having, you know, a cold water tap to have something like this that just gives a, a low sprinkle of uh, preheated water. There is a rubber seal here. It's only in the top. And the reason for that is just basically that's where lying water could actually drip into the unit. So they've got this guard to sh shed over the electrics and also to try and stop it getting in the first place but there, there's no seal around here although there is a port for it but mainly because they just want to shed the water over the top and get it past the stuff and it can drip out the bottom. I know the Americans feel a bit uncomfortable about our uh, our mains power electric showers we have. The main advantages of them are that you get instant hot water on demand, very efficient, there's, there's no delay uh, other than the heating of the block. Um, and it's just a super efficient way of doing it. And I will admit that in the early days of electric showers in the UK, we weren't that comfortable with it either. But now we're used to them. There aren't, the only accidents that have been reported, electrocutions and showers, have been people taking the cover off and poking about inside them while the power's on, uh, or just badly maintained ones. But uh, that's it. The Triton, um, three kilowatt, uh, hand wash unit. It's a very, very simple unit inside, but very, very effective. They work really well.